Hello everyone, this is Edgar from Brash Monkey, and I'm very excited to show you an extremely awesome pro feature coming to Spryder probably sometime next week. It's an experimental feature called Sub Entities. And to demonstrate Sub Entities, I've made some horrible programmer art, but it'll get the point across. We have a simple head turn made from three sprites scaling and rotating. We have a closed eye variation of the same head turn, and we have a bicep bulging animation. And so what sub-entities allow you to do is you can take an, another entity and use it as an object within another entity. So I'm going to take this out here, and I'm going to parent it to that bone. And you can see that I can move this, and the entity behaves as you'd expect this normal sprite to, and I can rotate and resize this as well. But where things get interesting is that if I right click I can change the position in the animation and it's going to tween between the positions that I set. And it doesn't have to be an extreme of one end or another and it's going to tween in between it. I'm sure that if you're an artist or animator you already have a million ideas but this can drastically reduce your workflow and it also allows you to make extremely complicated parts of an animation that you might not normally do if you're going to have to redo them over and over. For instance, this head turn, I might want to do this once, but if I'm in the middle of another animation where the character is turning their head, am I going to want to grab, you know, five sprites and keep moving them and rotating them and doing everything I did that first time that I got it perfect? And so this allows you to bypass doing the same work over and over again. And another interesting thing is, much like you can change the images on a regular sprite by right-clicking, you can also change the animation. So I can change this to the closed-eye version of the animation, and I'm going to change it back here, and then you can see that everything works uh, beautifully, seamlessly. Now another feature of the sub-entities will be alternate control methods. Now the dragging it back and forth makes perfect sense for a head turn, but not as much sense for a bicep bulging. And so I'm going to show that you can animate the bicep bulging just by taking the actual bone and moving it. And then Sprider will animate it depending on the original animation and at what points the angle was the angle that you currently have it set at. And this is going to work like a normal bone. You're going to be able to use IK and everything will function as you uh, expect it to. And so that's a preview. This is a, a pro-only feature, and it's an experimental feature, and you'll be able to start testing it out for yourself uh, next week on the next beta version of Spryder. And if you're interested in trying out Spryder or buying it now, you can go to BrashMonkey.com and download it there for Mac, Linux, or Windows. And thank you for watching.